and he's been uh, showing a bit of form, but over the shorter distance. But obviously, you know what? He wants to focus on that 5,000 metres at uh, at the champs at uh, the Commonwealth Games. But as we get underway here, so we won't have a hip number one in hip number two. Reese Langdon, three. Tom Forthorpe, four. Bryce Anderson, five. Brendan Press, six. Douglas Hammerlock in seven. Geordie Williams, eight. Andrew Buchanan, nine. Simon Rogers in ten. Stefan Music in. 11, Louis Fallon, 12, Adam Fogg, 13, Ryan Gregson, and 14, Michael Roger. It'll be interesting to see how this one sort of develops here. We've got a couple of athletes out there with uh, qualifiers already. Obviously, Ryan Gregson, he's got himself an A. Geordie Williams has himself an A. And the other one is Tom Forthorpe. He has himself a B, 340.60. He's out there in this race too. So they're the three athletes in this heat with the qualifiers currently. They'll be looking to get themselves safely through to the final. They won't want to have any issues out there. And as you can see there, Gregson sitting in second. That's fourth up out in front. Williams there as well as the New Zealander, Simon Rogers. And they're already starting to, to, to feel out this uh, little pack of four, only through the first few laps here. So... It'd be interesting to see. These guys know that um, they need to keep this pace pretty quick if they want to get the rest of the athletes through and not just the first three who cross the line. So hopefully a few athletes can join on that pack. But it is Tom Forthorpe out in front, Gregson, Williams and Rogers. And probably a good 10 metres now. Back to Reese Langdon, who's uh, leading the catch-up pack. It's Douglas Hammerlock from Tasmania now trying to fill this gap, but gone through 700 metres and 145. And actually, they're stretching this lead a little bit. I'd, I think we might see maybe one. We'll have to wait and see how quickly they're going through. We'll check their 800 metre split. And it's looking pretty quick at the moment. I think it's a few seconds. It is. It looks like a two minutes flat there. We'll just wait and see for the official one. Two flat, 66. So about three seconds faster through the first 800 metres from the first heat. So I think we might be able to see the first four from this go through. But, you know, 3.49, that's the slowest non-automatic time at the moment. And these athletes, they are stretching that gap there back to Hammerlock. And Michael Roger now starting to try and get on the back of Hammerlock and tuck in and try and ease that transition between that gap. But it is really starting to open up. It's about 20 metres now. Still four for Gregson, Williams and Rogers. As they come around to get the belt with 400 metres to go in heat two of the men's 1,500 metres. Uh, not much has changed here. They are sitting in those automatic qualifying positions, but Simon Rogers, the New Zealander, just off the back, starting to make his moves around the side of Geordie Williams. Ryan Gregson still sitting there comfortably. So we've got a B qualifier and A an A and a New Zealander. As we see Gregson now pushing himself up into first place, having a look around, just turning the legs are over. And with 200 metres to go, Williams has a devastating kick normally, but this is just race practice. They want to just get those first three across the line, and these boys are really starting to wind it up. Might be a bit of a, a, bit of a training partner rivalry out here at the moment. We'll see who can take line on us as Gregson and Williams look around. Forthorpe sitting pretty comfortably there in that last automatic qualifying position but the boys did enough around that bend and they'll switch it off as they come to the finish line and they should find themselves comfortably through and again very quick and I think Simon Rogers might have done enough to move himself up into that fastest non-automatic time 3.43.26 the official winning time there for Gregson 3.43.34 for Geordie Williams Tom Forthorpe 3.44.03 We'll wait and see the time for the fourth place athlete, Simon Rogers. Yeah, it was another safe one by the top athletes. 344, 72. So that's put him actually into the fastest non automatic qualifying position. So Edward Vining, unfortunately, won't be seeing him in the final. So now, if you're not top three in the last heat, you need to run faster than 347, 45 to make your way through to the final. Now, it's good to see them go out like that. Take the race to the rest of the field, get out in front, stay out in front, and just run along with your race. It's, 
it's one of those things, especially in major championship racing, a lot of the distance runners, sometimes a lot of it can fall into that trap of getting caught with the rest of the field. It becomes this tactical race. It ends up being a sprint finish down the final straight, and people miss out on final spots. Yeah, definitely. It is. It's good to see these guys really roll out. These are times that, that win the championships. I doubt that the final is going to be this quick. It may not be, and that's the thing, is when you've got so many people with qualifiers, and especially A qualifiers, four A qualifiers out there, a lot of the time it's not about the time anymore, it's about the placings. They've got to well, make sure they take the win. Matt Centrowitz, exactly. 350 flat to win Rio. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? To look at that, it's, it, give, it shows you some perspective of it. 343.26 there, now it's seven seconds quicker than winning the Olympic gold medal. Yeah, and that was the athlete who came ninth in that final. So it just shows, goes to show there's just so much more race.